Hi everyone, this is my submission for demo day. In this case, I am presenting a new smart component, the arbitrage executor, and a script that will let you do arbitrage between sex and dexes. Let's check how it works. This is a high level explanation of how the smart component works. We want to make the arbitrage between two markets. Uh, for that, we are going to define an order amount and a mean profitability. And these are the values that are going to be calculated by the smart components. We want to buy low in one exchange and sell high in the other one. So we will need to have assets to make this operation in the two exchanges. And how we are computing if this opportunity is profitable or not. The design that I made splits between the trade PL in percentage and the transaction cost in percentage. If we use this approach, the calculations are much more easier because we only need the prices of the two assets to calculate the trade PL, so that is pretty easy. And then the transaction cost will let us switch between the calculation of an AMM, a limit order book on a DEX, because we can compute the network fees, for example, for a DEX and the percentage or the flop fees that sex will charge us. And that is how we are going to compute these two flat uh, fees and then divided by the amount will be like the percentage. So finally, the revenue will be trade PNL minus the transaction cost in percentage. And that is what we are going to compare with the mean profitability. So now let's check how we can implement this into the code. This is the executor, so as you can see, it's inheriting the smart component base. I'm not going to enter into much details of how this works, just I would like to show you the control task that this component has. Uh, as I mentioned previously in the slides, we are getting the trade PNL in percentage, the transaction cost in percentage, and if it's profitable, we are going to execute the arbitrage. Also, we have a mechanism to check if we have a lot of failures, because as you can, as you know, the transactions in the blockchain can fail, so we have a mechanism to manage that too. Uh, well, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions because this is very new um, and I can try to improve this component. So now let's review the script. So the script is pretty straightforward. If you want to use it or change uh, the values or the change that we are using here, you just need to change the exchange name here or here and the trading pair just make sure that this is interchangeable with this one uh, well the code asset too uh, you need to define the order amount in base asset and the mean profitability that you are looking for and this is going to work one thing that i didn't mention is that an arbitrage executor works just in one side like buying in exchange a and selling in exchange B. That's why we have this in the Ontic method, we are checking the active buy arbitrage and the active sell arbitrage, because probably in some cases you want to do just the arbitrage in one side to make a rebalance, for example. So this script is going to manage all the logic for you, but the most important or powerful thing of the script is that once you create the executor, you don't have to do anything in the Ontic. The smart component is going to manage the execution logic for you. It's going to check the trade PNL in percentage, the fees, and it's going to determine if it's a good opportunity to make the trade or not. So, well, the arbitrage executor, how it's created, you can check it here. Also, we have a logic to check before we create the executor if you have enough balance to do so. Uh, well, uh, now it's time to run it and see how it works. And obviously, if you have any questions, just let me know. So well, as you can see, I have the instance of the gateway running. Um, I'm going to check the balance. So in Binance, we have 53 Matic, that is enough for what we want. And we have 66 USDT, so we are okay in Binance. But in Uniswap Polygon, we have only 10 USDT and only three Matic. So this is, go ah, sorry, Wmatic, Rabmatic we are using here. So this is going to uh, fail for USDT. That we are not going to be able to buy Wmatic. And this is what we should expect in the log messages. So if we start the script, start script arbitrage. 
we're going to see that one of the executors is going to check to fail ISS insufficient balance in exchange to buy USDT actual 10 and we need 34. So if we run status live, this is a formal status that the position the average executor offers. So the trade PNL is minus 0 0.19 percentage and the transaction cost is this. And well, the net PNL is minus 0 0.41%. So, well, what we can do here, first of all, we can stop this strategy, we can change the value. One thing that is really important is that if we are lowering down this value, suppose that now we put, I don't know, uh, $20, uh, 20 Matic, uh, we are going to see, let's put uh, 10 Matic. So we are going to see that the transaction cost is going to be re much more higher than before. So as we run status live again, now we can see that we have the two executors because the amount of 10 Matic, Matic is 0 0.7 now, so we need like 10 USD is enough. We have enough balance to uh, create the execution. So this is going to be here until we get a profitable uh, yeah opportunity and that will be executed and will be moved to closed arbitrage. So as you can see, the transaction cost now is minus 0 0.7. And this is because the network fee is like on a fixed value. So in order to make the probability of the execution higher, we will need to have a higher order amount. This is like the intuition that I'm trying to explain to you. Well, that's all about the strategy. I hope that you like it and you can start using it.